Hi Libra, welcome to your monthly readings. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For the month of August, I'm offering a special that it's divided into two parts, even though you can uh, order it separately, which is called uh, Tales of the Sun. And it's a reading that was created to reflect upon themes of power and creation, which is exactly uh, the theme we are currently on with this within this Leo season. So if you would like to know more info about those specials or any other of my tarot services, just email me. Or if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do so by following the PayPal link, which is also down below, and as well my Facebook and Instagram page. So Libras, I do feel like the month of August, there can be something weird about the timing of situations that might seem uh, inadequate, out of sync again with what's um, meant to be or what should be or uh, being presented with situations that um, either you feel like you don't know how to react, you don't know what to say, you don't know what not to say or what not to do, so you're a little bit lost in uh, I feel the way you should perform, the way you should react, the way you should express yourself. I think that there's something here during the month of August that might feel uh, challenging on um, freedom of expression and freedom of being because I feel like some of you are trying to uh, be strong as well and be fixed or stay fixed, stay focused as well in a position or in, in an energy that might be more... Um, about stubbornness than actually productive towards well-being, which means that some of you, you are resisting change, and by resisting this change in whichever form this is, you're creating more of the same drama and more of the same patterns, when in reality you might think that uh, what you're doing or the decisions you're making or the stubbornness, fixed decisions you're trying to hold on to, are exact are the things you should do to uh, allow the change and prevent negative situations to come into your space. So I feel like there's a misplaced sense of um, direction, um, guidance, understanding of situations that you should uh, reorient. I feel like some of you should re reorient your uh, aim towards whichever you have been and are trying to uh, move forward with and accomplish as well. So it's a month where uh, the more of um, the more resisting you are to towards uh, maybe um, accepting that there's something about you that needs to change or the more stubborn you are, the more fixed you are with old ways and things or the more um, inflexible as well you keep being about not seeing uh, what's on the surface of situations. I think that uh, you might be living with, with an agony or living with an anxiety, living with fear that you shouldn't live with and that it's keeping you from moving again in a direction of um, empowerment so some of you are seeking happiness and seeking better days and seeking uh, autonomy independence freedom liberation of some sorts of something some of you want to uh, leave the bad cycle leave the bad habits live the addictions or addictive compulsive behaviors that you might have you're trying your best I feel some of you to uh, put that aside do not um, fall or relapse into patterns and, and situations that you know are not good for you. But the way you are avoiding temptation or the way you are going about this, I keep getting, uh, might just make it harder to do so, which means that by doing something to resist temptation, you're just, the, the urge to be tempted or the, uh, 
space that maybe you might be leaving open for that same object of temptation to come in is just to get might get wider and more impossible to run from or harder to break free from because if we keep bearing things if we keep denying um some of that you know subconscious irrational response to desire the things we want even if they are morally uh, wrong the more we're just going to go in circles about this and keep getting there and keep doing more of it of whatever we perceive as wrong because the um, repressed sense of guilt and shame it's um, a very powerful force of a manifestation as well of keep of for it to keep to keep you in a position in life or in a place in in life where um, you're unable to I feel like some of you feel like you can't reach divine energy or soul or source I feel like some of you whatever this addiction that is keeping you very anchored in the material world for the wrong reasons whatever it is um, it's really congesting again the channel you have it doesn't stop flowing and existing but it's, it's congesting it it's limiting it it's suppressing source energy soul emotion good things um, healing things it's kind of um, hard to have that energy take over you in your life and clear out of your life whatever needs to be cleared out because there's something I keep getting you are like putting your foot down and denying the clearing, denying the letting go, denying that this is a problem or that this is an entrapment because I'm feeling not always the devil is like this, but I'm feeling that for your reading, um, the devil is putting you in a place stuck in a place with a very toxic environment very toxic kind of energy that it's like pushing you into into uh it's like this dark place inside of you it's pushing you deeper and deeper into that dark place in a point where you can feel like you have no soul or you have your emotional self the emotional your emotional reactions your your heart the way you go about it or the, the way you, it used to be easy to connect with heart to heart it's like there's a part of you that might be uh, tainted or you feel like tainted corrupted there's a little bit of a corruptive energy here which means that some of you really need to let go of whatever this is in your own way and time and doing but start taking the steps by first of all by questioning your your way about this your beliefs what you have been doing what you have been resisting denying what you have uh in which ways you have been participating in creating the problem um i feel like you should be questioning more yourself not so much the other side because um you might think that <sighs> It's a very interesting energy here for Libras. It's like Libras, you might be starting to in the month by thinking that the devil is out there to get you, or the devil is a projection of something in your life that feels like the devil, feels haunting, feels negative, heavy, stressed, it feels manipulative but addictive. It fills you with desire, but it's an empty sense of desire. It fills you with powerful binding attachments to relationships that are just more of the same and not taking you anywhere, not growing, not supportive, not healing. And you might be seeing the projection of the devil in the outer sphere, in the behaviors of others, in the ways others go about it. And you might be acting like the Nine of Wands, which is an energy that resists, protects, stands down and is ready for battle, but also has severe trust issues, severe trust issues. So what happens with this nine of wands and the devil here, I'm feeling is like you might then realize as you go further into the month that the devil is also you, Libra. The devil concept and energy 
is living in you, is being as well, is displayed and acted upon you. And this is what you need to take care of, your own inner devil. You need to take care of whatever shadow, uh, whatever shadow work you might be still needing to do to find some sense of release uh, from a pattern of maybe destruction or drama or uh, something falling apart in your life that you've that you thought and you hoped it would be um, with you for a long time. Something that was a pillar of safety, something that was very significant to you that fell apart. And you're still feeling the effects of something that fell apart, Libra, during the month of August. The thing is, to rebuild it, are you going to, uh, what you're going to do? I also feel like some of you are being asked to think about even uh, if you can't act upon it now, just think about what are you going to do next? What are your, uh, wh where is your focus? Where is your planning? What is your goal right now? Focus on the now, Not, don't think about what was taken away when considering this planning, whatever fell apart, leave it aside for now. And don't think about the future because the future looks like this for you as well. When, I th when I'm talking about the planning phase or you uh, understanding what you want to do is you stopping in the here, here and now. Stopping in the here and now to address the situation appropriately, which is not to deny it or to blame it or to sabotage the future progress that you could have because it's immense. King of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles, your progress, if you rebuild from whatever this is, you have a lot of good things awaiting you. So if this has been a job loss, a financial uh, drama situation, a financial loss as well, if this has been uh, about your family, if this has been about your lifestyle, or if this has been about a relationship. Whatever it was, the rebuilding effect will make you stronger because this is Earth, Earth is strong. It will provide to you traits of consistency. It will provide to you traits of abundance that comes from understanding what's really essential in life and what you really want to do in this life that matters. I think that this element of what matters to you is also in focus. You need to get down to Earth, Libra. Connect with the Earth element. Connect with Earth type people. Connect with activities that are physical, where you can have your five senses, um, you know, refined. So you can understand that um, you're not meant to be enslaved because what, what I'm feeling here is as well that some of you have this thing of uh, materialism or um, maybe wanting money, success, let's say for the wrong reasons in terms of the way you're going about it is with the devil. Some of you want money and power and status to have power over others because you have felt robbed from it some time ago. Some of you want power and money and status to live by ego because you're conditioned or you have been conditioned to believe that in order to uh, survive, um, in order to live a life that is more than survival and to live a life that where you are well respected and to live a life of meaning, you need to fill it up with possessions and you need to be known by what you own, by what you can buy, by what you can, uh, where and what you can access. And if well balanced with spirit which means that your actions don't come only from empty places of matter because matter will fade away matter uh, without soul what is it it's dry and it's useless because once you die or once the situation dies because death is inevitable what will happen 
it will disintegrate right in front of you like it did before and you will be left again with nothing so Libra this is a metaphor for something that might be acting and happening uh, during this month that might be residual and probably it is there's a residual energy of a past circumstance that is still affecting your progress is still affecting the way you go about finances work family career and relationships that needs to be changed because the address of the addressing the situation in a different form especially where you're able to recognize your fault or your shadow so he stops having power over you because the devil is that card that energy that has power over us because we don't see it as us we deny that we deny that to such a degree that we are the victim under the thumb of a villain concept but we are both we are both and i think that some of you uh need to work on this shadow light concept because you keep uh projecting the shadow out being abused mistreated having unfortunate situations happening having you know the worst kind of people attracted to you uh, and you don't see where is it coming from why you keep attracting that why you are a match to that frequency you need to understand that something inside of you that uh, is it feels guilt or shame or fear to embody its own self and it's into its wholeness completely um, I don't want to make it it's not a negative reading please it's not actually I feel as you go into September you're gonna you're going to uh, feel much better and see or understand part of, of what I'm talking about um, some of you that have been concerned with work and finances it will get much much better nine of pentacles to the king of pentacles for libras uh in business having their own business for libras in position in a position of management for libras that want to try to have their own business this is a great period to address that to look at that to put all of that desire to achieve and conquest in in the material realm in a way that is coming from a passion that is coming from a dream that is coming from something deep inside of you that wants to take a risk that wants to be happy and be wealthy why do you need to join one thing or the other why can't you have both that's another question you're making most likely why can't I have both why can't I have money and be happy with what I'm doing? So some of you might be as well going through situations where you're concerned with uh, either having, you know, security, either maintaining the position you currently have or following dreams or following uh, the promise of what a dream could, could uh, offer you. Some of you are dealing with earth signs, as I said, so Virgos, Capricorns, Taurus, or earthy type of people as well during this period of time. Some of those relationships might be good to benefit and uh, inspire you in terms... Some, some relationships... <coughs> I'm sorry. Some relationships with earth type of people... Just give me a second. What I wanted to say is that some of that those relationships can be beneficial for Libras. Some of them can bring profit, actual profit, or just value, add value to your life. But some of them are also very um, based on strong sense of temptation. Or there's something quite addictive with that relationship in particular, or that can develop into being very addictive if this is already an existing relationship that has been ha having hard times if there has been breakups or just you know big fight or something that happened that was not the most um the most positive experience you will move into calmer waters you and with you and the ones you love your family if there has been family stress and problems you will move forward 
maybe take a trip with family or just disconnect and detach from all of that negativity. Some of you, you need to clear out negativity from your life. You need to break the cycle to have luck returning, the luck of the will, which means that some of you feel unfortunate or that feel like the will has not been at your favor at all. She's here, so she wants to be. But the devil is in the other side and the tower, which means that if you're not careful, this is like a compass, as I was saying, you need to understand, reorient your direction, your sense of direction. So right now, August is very important. It's like pivotal. If you don't want the tower and the devil again, if you don't want to repeat the same experiences that you have before, really take a look on the will now. Take a look on the choices you're making, the things you're saying, the, the decisions you're in, in which you are basing those decisions, the people you are allowing in, the people you are not allowing in. Take everything in consideration. In order to understand if you are contributing to the will giving you the things you most want or giving you again the things that cause some sense of trauma or uh, it's like tr either trauma pain or just uh, a sense of uh, not having things achieved because achievement is also important, I feel, for some of you. Some of you want success or to, to succeed in something. And you will. Most likely related to a vocation, a hobby, something making you quite happy, turning it into something profitable. Or discovering, right, where your happiness lies in terms of work. So what you like to do and making the change to get you there. But you need to uh, understand if uh, you're not uh, putting the will again in the same space of repetition. And, and, and it's interesting because the signs I have read so far, they all had this, this concept of the, the, the will. They all had the will, actually. So it's interesting that, again, it shows up to you. Here it's a little bit with more with a warning than for the others. but. It's still here, it's still a good omen, it's still a good sign and possibility, but get rid of this Libra. And specifically, look at this as well. Maybe you're not looking at yourself. Maybe you're afraid to look at yourself and the things you are doing. And the things that um, you are doing and you don't understand what you're doing. And so because you don't understand and you're afraid of that uh, confrontation with the self and not having the right reasons to justify whatever your uh, reasons are, you might be avoiding. But by avoiding change, you are contributing for the same issues. So I, have you, I hope you have a great uh, month. Thank you so much for all of you that have been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and donating to my channel. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hopefully, we'll see each other soon.